All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody's day today? I know everybody went bananas. Everybody's wetting themselves because just like what the article says on a Bleacher Report, and it's pretty much every dang website and every video on the YouTube has pretty much explained this. But Vince McMahon plans to sell the WWE before agreeing to the new TV rights contract and Stephanie McMahon resigned from the WWE. Now before I get into this, she already posted this on Twitter. Then, now, forever, together. Let's see what it says here. Dear WWE, oh sorry, I, I, I don't think you guys can see the last part here. Let me bring this down. I don't know if you guys can see that either, but we're going to give it a go. Anyways, about eight months ago, I took a leave of absence and winning a few weeks. Unexpectedly had the opportunity of a lifetime. Had the privilege to return as the co-CEO and chairwoman of the board of WWE. I cannot put into words how proud I am to have led what I consider to be the greatest company in the world. Working alongside a remarkable leadership team and one of the, <coughs> and one of the strongest executives I have known in my co-CEO, Nick Khan. And if you guys want to read the whole thing, that's fine. I, I, I don't want to read that whole dang thing. You guys can look it up on Twitter. If not, pretty sure it's all over social media as well. Anyways, she's gone. Thank you, Stephanie, for what you've done, even though I don't know what the hell you did, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, she's no longer part of the WWE. Now, a lot of people did not want Vince McMahon, you know, to return to the WWE because a lot of people mentioned that Vince McMahon was running WWE like like a running machine. At least that's what they say, you know. I've heard people say, oh, well, the show gotten better ever since Triple H ran uh, the WWE. Uh, uh, Triple H ran NXT like an Iron Fist, etc. And then Vince McMahon came back and then we see this shit and everybody's flipping out because... WWE, from what I'm hearing, that is that it's going to be no longer a, a public company, but a private. At least, that's what I've been told as well. But anyways, let's see what it says here. So, according to Dave Meltzer, everybody's favorite, everybody's favorite <laughs> radio host. <laughs> and ringside news, whatever. Um, so, the WWE's TV contract with all these dang shows expire in 2024. Meaning, talks focused on television right deals will almost certainly begin this year. And, man, Vince McMahon does not want to leave his company. He could have gave it to Steph. He could have gave it to Hunter, which I kind of prefer Hunter. Or, hell, Vince, or, or probably Shane McMahon. I don't know. But anyways, I know people aren't talking about the whole, uh, uh, the allegation anymore. And everybody's up in arms in terms of, you know, Vince McMahon coming back and he's selling his own company. Remember the damn promos that he used to put up, you know, that if he wants to, uh, uh, bring the company down, he can, he will, whatever, something along the lines. Anyways, how do I feel about this? Well, as of right now, this thing has not going to full effect yet, but a lot of people have come into this big, big conclusion that, like, WWE is pretty much going to be a dead weight company because he sold his own company to someone else, and then they have the rights to do this, and they'll no longer be doing that. Uh, th they're going to lose shareholders or something. Look, I don't know what the hell they do behind closed doors. I am, like, l like I wish I had the money that Vince McMahon had. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love to have the money that WWE has. However, this thing has not gone to full effect because, as it says, this effect won't start until 2024. Excuse me, at the end of 2024. So we have almost two years for this whole thing t to go into full effect. And whatever happens now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, we're going to jump to, uh, 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 <laughs> to AEW. Now it's going to be the rise and fall of WWE. Just like how they did Rise and Fall, ECW, and WCW, all that bullshit. Anyways, I don't know how to feel, to be honest. Um, I guess time would tell, and maybe things can change um, in, in, in the upcoming months, years. But if it's finalized, then it is what it is. And the thing is, is that a lot of people like to consider that like this is the end of wrestling. I don't know where in the flying feather 
did, did he get this bullshit from? Like, s I, I feel like even if this thing went to full effect, people are still going to watch it. People are going to figure out what happens. And if WWE turns into something else, if it doesn't turn into a wrestling show anymore, then it is what it is. I'm not going to cry about it. Because the thing is, is that, like, maybe this is what he wanted all this time, you know? Maybe he wanted to sell it to someone else. Maybe someone that can bring the show to bigger, better things. I don't know. Like, like, uh, as of right now, this is just my opinion. And if anything, we don't got any more information yet until otherwise. So until then, everybody's freaking out over something that happened so little. And it's not going to happen until the end of 2024. So everybody just got to chill the hell out. Um, anyways. Whatever happens now, I don't care, to be honest. And, and if anything, I don't watch anything else. Like, like, yeah, I understand WWE has brought a lot of interesting things back in the past, a long time ago. The thing is, is that several shit are going to have to end regardless. Now, let's just say that WWE, like, is no longer a wrestling company. Let's just say this out of the blue. Like, if I'm going to freak out, get upset because of it, no. Because at the end of the day, whatever happens, happens. And there's other things to watch. I know people don't want to watch AEW. They don't want to watch uh, Ring of Honor. Any show's not their thing. That's fine. You know? Several shit has to come to an end, unfortunately. But as of right now, there's things that we don't know as of as of yet. They're just giving us what happened. Vince McMahon already made a deal in terms of Saudi Arabia, and we are not sure what's going to happen in the near future. But as of right now, we're just getting this news. We have to wait for more updates, and we're going to see if anything else finalizes until 2024. Um, until then, that's all I got for now. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box, and again, if anyone even cares about Steph uh, excuse me, Stephanie McMahon departing, that's fine. Maybe they make another wrestling show. Who knows? Something similar to WWE. You know, we're going to have Steph, uh, Triple H, Shane McMahon, they're all going to run together, and like WWE, be WWE. I don't know. If they do that, great. They make another separate WWE, fantastic. The more wrestling shows, the better. If people can move away from the WWE to go to the other company, I don't know. Again, I don't know what's going to happen. But until then, time would tell. Um, anyways, yeah, Stephanie Man's out of here. Who knows what's going to happen in the near future. Maybe they all got into a table and start fighting with each other. What do you mean? Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I got for now. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll try to think of more videos in the near future. Stay tuned.